Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're talking about what are the best VPNs in 2023 that support port forwarding. Now port forwarding can be very useful to maximize your torrent speeds and a lot of people who want to torrent with a VPN like to utilize port forwarding. That said, not all VPNs support this feature and in fact a lot of them don't. One of the two most recommended options for torrenting on Reddit were both Molvad and iVPN. Now, both these VPNs have actually removed port forwarding due to a lot of their users doing malicious things with this feature. However, other VPNs haven't reported the same thing and still have port forwarding. So if you're looking for a VPN that supports port forwarding, stay tuned in this video. Also guys, I'm gonna be putting links for all these VPNs and possible discount codes if you click on those links in the description down below. I'm not sponsored and I don't work for any of these VPNs. However, however, I am an affiliate for most VPN providers. So your support and clicking on the links directly help support this channel for me to make videos for you guys. Anyways guys, let's get on to the video. What are some of the best VPNs that support port forwarding? Well, the number one VPN on the channel I recommend probably the most is TorGuard VPN. TorGuard VPN's plan, the standard plan, does include port forwarding. They don't upsell it or anything like that. And they've supported this feature for probably one of the longest time periods in terms of VPNs. Pretty much all you do is go into the account panel and you can configure the ports there. And I could show you that right now. You pretty much go to your services, my services button, and then you click manage and port forward request. Once you go here, you will request the port you want forwarded and that's pretty much all there is to it. Extremely easy and very intuitive. So that's probably my number one option. It's one of my favorite ones. However, there are other options out there too, which might be interesting to you. TorGuard is probably one of the cheapest ones. TomSpark 2023 gives you 50% off and there's also other codes as well that you can take advantage of if you want to check out some of the other plants that have things like dedicated IPs and those kind of things. TorGuard isn't the best VPN when it comes to unblocking streaming services, um, but overall it's a very good VPN in pretty much every other aspect. And if you do want to use a streaming bundle, you can even get dedicated IPs there, which can unblock streaming services too. So there's a, really a thing for everyone with TorGuard. But next up, we can also talk about Hide.me. They're running a summer sale that will activate if you click on the link in the description down below right now. Um, pretty good deal, $70 for 27 months. Hide.me is also a VPN that supports port forwarding and you could do that um, on the website. Pretty much all you do is go into your account panel, go to devices, and you can enable dynamic port forwarding. You need to add a device and connect to the device name as a username. Um, and you can also enter fixed IP addresses in the connection wizard. So overall, also a good solution. Next up, we have private internet access. This one isn't quite as highly rated as an aggregate between Hi.me and TorGuard. However, it's still a very good VPN in its own right, and it's also one of the oldest VPNs that supported port forwarding. You could get around two years and three months free for around $57, which is a very good deal. And, and private internet access is very fast and a pretty good VPN. It does support port forwarding, and you can do it pretty easily. This article outlines it pretty well. You pretty much just go into the application, you go to settings, network, and then pretty much what you do is you request port forwarding as a checkbox. When you connect to the server location of your choice that offers port forwarding, your random port will automatically be signed and it will show you that port. You can also do it on the mobile app as well, and that is pretty easy to do. Last up, we have Proton VPN, and Proton VPN is another VPN that does support port forwarding for torrenting. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than any of the other options I've mentioned so far, but it does support that feature. Proton added this roughly a year ago, and you do it in the application. Similar to private internet access, you go to the advanced tab, click port forwarding, and then you will also be able to copy the port number. It's almost exactly like how they did it in private internet access. So it's probably a little bit easier to set up with maybe PIA, private internet access and Proton, but the Pi.me and, and TorGuard work well too. And they're a little bit higher rated in the tier list. It kind of just depends on which one of these VPNs you want to use. I'll be putting links for all these in the description down below. I've also reviewed all these VPNs here on the channel. If you're still kind of confused on which one to pick, well, you might want to check out the VPN tier list.com. This is my website where I've rated pretty much every single VPN. I've listed out some of my favorite products 
And I even have links to my own Discord server and active subreddit community on there too as well. So make sure to check out this guys if you're interested in a little bit more information about these VPNs or if you just want to learn more about what we're doing here on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.